I'm sure all of you know how it feels to be buried under a big pile of books. Um, as a big book reader, I get asked two questions all the time. And one of those is, what book should I read? And I love giving people recommendations. Um, but the second question that I get asked is, have you read, fill in the blank, this book? Um, the answer is usually no. And it's because this is the weekly reading for an English major. All seven of them, sort of. One of them I'm reading over the course of the semester. But anyway, this this is like kind of just what a, an average week or a couple of week period looks like for me. And so just getting to the books that I want to read usually is not so easy. So that's what I mean when I say I feel like I'm drowning in books. I want to be reading all the time and I do want to read all the books I get for presents and all the books that people recommend to me and all the books that I buy and all the books I get in my book mail, but I just, I just don't have time until the semester's over. So I'm going to show you my to be read pile because it's massive right now. I don't think I've ever had this big of a to be read pile in my entire life. These two books are just books that I've gotten in Owl Crate books for January and February. This is the January book. It's called Roseblood by A.G. Howard, and I'm so excited to read this book, but I just don't have time right now. It has to do with the Phantom of the Opera, and I love the Phantom. I went and saw it when I was 16, and it was one of the greatest experiences of my entire life, and I'm so excited to read this, but I just have to read all the other books first. Um, this is Caravel, Car Caraval, I'm not sure how to say it, and it's by Stephanie Garber. I got this in the February Owl Crate box, and I'm getting another box in March, and it's gonna have an awesome book too, and I wanna read that right now. Um, this one's about like a, um, a carnival that comes to town, and it's like scary, and there's these two sisters, and it's cool. I talked about it in the unboxing video, and I wanna read this, uh, but I read, I read books that people tell me to read instead. Um, my next pile of books comes from my other favorite book mail, which is the Book of the Month Club. And this is the latest one I've gotten. It's called The Possessions. And it's about, it's not about like devil possessions. That's scary. No, it's about this woman who takes people's possessions and then gets like visions and things like dead people and stuff. So she's kind of like a medium, I think. So that's gonna be really exciting and fun to read. Um, this one is a short story in book form by Gillian Flynn called The Grown Up. It was included as a, as a bonus. I've never read anything by Gillian Flynn, but I am excited to start with this because I actually, I actually already read the synopsis for Girl on the Train, which is really bad of me, I know, but I just really wanted to know what all the fuss was about and I knew I wouldn't have time to read it anytime soon, so I just, I just did it. Anyway, so that's cool. Uh, this is a YA book called Girls in the Moon. It was also in Book of the Month for January. Yes, January. And um, I'm really excited to read this one. It's like rock and roll and love and cool stuff like that. So that's fun. Um, this is Eligible, which is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice that came out in May. Or it was in the Book of the Month in May, but I just ordered it in December. And then this is Swimming Lessons, which was in my December box. Which I got these together. Um... Yeah, and so this one's like a Pride and Prejudice modern version, and this is um, a book about a mother that goes missing. It looks really good. It's just too bad I, I don't read anymore, apparently. This is a book I'm still currently reading, but guys, it's like 950 pages. Like, I don't know, I, I just, I read it like for 10 minutes a day. It's so sad. <laughs> it's the second Outlander book. As everyone knows, I've been reading this since like January, so probably finish it when I graduate college or something. Uh, let's see. This is a book I got for Christmas, Ghost at a Watchman by Harper Lee. Um, I love To Kill a Mockingbird and my brother got this for me. I'm really excited to read it. Um, I've heard mixed reviews, but that will not stop me because reviews never stop me. Uh, then this is from my awesome sister-in-law. And this one's kind of cool because it's the florist dictionary. So it's like just 
a collection basically of the meanings of flowers. And so I don't have to read it all at once, which is good because I can just get little glimpses of the story within, it's not really story, it's just like factual things, but like really pretty illustrations of all the flowers. So that's gonna be really fun to read when I get to it. Um, I just ordered four books. I don't know why I do this to myself. I keep buying books and then they just sit next to my bed and I don't read them because I'm too busy. Um, this is The Witches, which is a book that, which, which is, which is a book <laughs> that came out a while ago <laughs> by Stephanie Schiff, or St Stephanie, Stacy Schiff. Um, Skiff? Schiff? I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, about the Salem Witch Trials and I just had to read The Crucible for class again. And so I'm getting really into The Salem Witch Trials and I really want to read it. It looks really good. My mother-in-law read it and she thought it was interesting. So I'm excited to read that. Uh, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Moyes, I'm not sure. Um, everyone's read this except me. So probably should get on that train. Also, if you're wondering where I got these books, I didn't buy them at a brand new bookstore. I bought them at the website Better World Books. It's really cool, free shipping. It takes a while, but it's carbon free shipping. So it's like just way better for the environment and their books are crazy cheap. Um, then this is the book called The Girl Who Slept With God by Val Berlinski. It's kind of about like this family of sisters and they have like this religious background. Um, and then one of them gets pregnant and apparently she's still a virgin. So that's, you know, heard that story before. It seems a little, a little crazy for modern times, but anyway, it looks really good. Um, and then this one I'm really excited about, You're Never, You're Never Weird on the Internet Almost by Felicia Day. Um, I really like reading celebrity memoirs when they're good. Um, I really only like reading them by people who actually got their start as writers. I don't necessarily want to read about just like a celebrity or like an actor or anything, but I like reading about people who actually write or wrote at least for a living because I know it's going to be good. So those are the books that I am trying to read. Um, and I'm really sad that I haven't started them yet, but that's my to be read pile at the moment. There's literally like 15 books in it. So plus the, uh, I think I calculated it at 30 books that I have to read for this whole semester. So that's gonna be fun, what an adventure. Anyway, I want to know what you think of these books if you've read them already. Um, I hope that you aren't drowning in books. I hope that you can all just read books even if you're in school because it's a nice break from school to read something you actually want to read. So please like, comment with books that you are currently uh, putting in your to be read pile that you haven't been able to pick up and um, or what you think of the books I have in my to be read pile and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Sorry. Oh, I wasn't sure if we were going already. Yeah, yeah, I'm recording. So take a breath and then count to three. Okay. And then come up, okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you.